Well, how's it going? So if you know anything about shore of radios, or even if you don't, you know that the little Eaton here, this is a Traveler 3, doesn't have a BFO in it, or the ability to uh, receive a CW, or kind of Morse code by amateurs. It's actually a uh, continuous wave is what it is, or sideband. So how is this little trick being done? Well, this tiny little radio gets a little help from this giant signal generator. One way of doing this is to tune the signal generator very close to the frequency that the uh, amateur we're listening to is operating at. And the resulting beat between the incoming amateur signal and the signal generator makes a little side tone there. This is a, probably about the most primitive way you could do this, but it does add some functionality to the unit. This would also work on sideband too, but I guarantee you it'd be very touchy to tune. And it, it's slowly drifting away. I think the generator is warming up. In addition to getting it on frequency, it helps to kind of adjust the injection or the uh, kind of the carrier's amplitude by fiddling with the generator. I've been doing it by slowly moving this clip back and forth. He's just slowly fading away. Here and there. <laughs> it's like I said, it's a very primitive way of doing this, but it is a way to do it. Maybe we could think of a better way to do this. And you can do this on any any radio. It just takes a lot of patience and a, it helps that the generator and the radio are very stable. Okie dokie, well, I just thought I'd show you that. So kind of keep this in mind and we'll try and think up something better. Anyway, take it easy. Have a groovy day.